Hello, everybody. Hello, dear friends. Thank you once again for joining me. I hope in the future these Dhammapada readings will get more views. This is information that uh, really inspired me a great deal. This information inspired me to find the truth in my own heart, if you will. And the teachings of Buddha led me back to the teachings of Christ. I never truly left. My heart never really left Christ. When I was exploring other things, it's not that I ever renounced Christ or decided I'm not going to hold up my end of the bargain from actually understanding the word at least in my own way. But, somehow after I read this book, I gained a new perspective on Jesus' teachings. It was like a new doorway to understanding the teachings better, the teachings of Jesus. <clears throat> Which is why I'm so into this book. Eventually I want to memorize the whole thing. I got about a third of it memorized so far. I've read it many, many times. I have a book on tape, old school cassette tape. I still listen to it. I just listen to it a lot. In fact, I've had to buy two or three copies because they wear out and I don't like them. Anyway, I'm rambling. <clears throat> the wise man. <clears throat> the wise man tells you where you have fallen and where you yet may fall. Invaluable secrets. Follow him. Follow the way. Let him chasten and teach you and keep you from mischief. The world may hate him, but good men love him. Sorry. Do not look for bad company or live with men who do not care. Find friends who love the truth. Drink deeply. Live in serenity and joy. The wise man delights in the truth and follows the law of the awakened. The farmer channels water to his land. The fletcher whittles his arrows and the carpenter turns his wood. So the wise man directs his mind. The wind cannot shake a mountain. Neither praise nor blame moves uh, the wise man. He is clarity. Hearing the truth, he is like a lake. Pure and tranquil and deep. Want nothing. Where there is desire, say nothing. Happiness or sorrow, whatever befalls you, walk on, untouched, unattached. Do not ask for family or power or wealth, either for yourself or for another. Can a wise man wish to rise unjustly? Few cross over the river. Most are stranded on this side. On the river bank, they run up and down. But the wise man following the way crosses over beyond the reach of death. He leaves the dark way for the way of light. He leaves his home, seeking happiness on the hard road, free from desire, free from possessions, free from the dark places of the heart, free from attachment and appetite, following the seven lights of awakening and rejoicing greatly in his freedom. In this world, the wise man becomes himself a light, pure, shining free. Next chapter is the master. Alex Gray. 
bookmark back in here. Yeah, I hope you can take some information or inspiration rather from this uh, part of the Dhammapada. There are many great inspirational lessons about the nature of the spirit and the mind in these texts. You can just study it as a philosophy. That's basically what I do. Study it as a philosophy. Have faith in the concepts. Buddhism is more of a philosophy than a religion. And it doesn't have to be followed as a religion. I don't follow it as a religion. I honor Buddhism. And I am a practicing Buddhist. But I don't pray to Buddha. I don't worship Buddha. I pray to Jesus. And in praying to Jesus, I think you pay honor to Buddha even. Because Buddha and Jesus were very similar in their principles. Jesus had a lot of stories and a lot of parables. And the Buddhist text is more just like a spiritual psychology manual almost, the way I kind of think of it. It's helped me through a lot of challenging aspects of life, you know. In this human condition, it's inevitable we're all going to be faced with tragedy at some point or another. And, you know, sometimes bad things happen. Sometimes you get your heart broken. I've had that happen to me. The important thing is how you walk through the fire, as Charles Bukowski said. You make it out the other side, and you're born again hard, as they like to say in the military. But in a compassionate way. Anyway, I guess I'm rambling now. I'll get off here. Thanks for joining me.